Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. It's fall time, which means fun and trophy fish out of Sand Bay Beach Resort in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, oh, my, oh my gosh. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. How do you oh awesome. my gosh. Yes, Blake, late September and October is the time to come up to Sand Bay Beach Resort. Yep, one of my favorite times of the year, my favorite places. And you know, the colors are gorgeous this time of year. There's mm -hmm. smallmouth to be caught, walleyes to be caught, but it's also, you know, you and your friend came up here a while back. Mm -hmm. It's a fun place just to visit and go out to eat that. Yeah, absolutely, and Sand Bay Beach Resort is a great place to stay. Well, Dale, I'll tell you what, buddy, we got a special guest today. We have with us Jake, and what's your last name, Jake? It's Olshan. Oshesky, Jake Oshesky. Oshesky, that's why I let him say that. We got some waves out here today, too. Yeah. But what we're going to do is smallmouth fish. And Dale, what a spectacular time of year, October, late September, huh? Yeah, I mean, uh, this is a time where they really start putting on, you know, the winter, what we call winter feed bag. And so what they have to do, John, is they've got to build up a fat content that uh, they will build to sustain themselves to get through the winter. So we'll catch some big fish today? Well, let's and come on. So, I mean, it's, it's been a lot of inconsistent weather and until the water temperatures cool down, that can have some adverse effects. Well, then I'll ask Blake, are we going to catch some big fish today? <laughs> we always do with Dale. Jake, are we going to catch some big fish today? Oh, most definitely. Hey, folks, the so show what we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. On the water, every second counts. So when there's a fish at 3 o'clock, be right on time with Mega 360 Imaging. Every sweep of our newest technology offers 125 feet of absolute clarity all around your boat so you can see fish and every detail in every direction. With a clearer picture of what's below, you can catch fish like clockwork. Mega 360 Imaging, only from Humminbird. What's the difference between a good net and a great net? Simple, it's all in the features. Fortis nets by Clam Outdoors are tough, safe on fish, easy to use, and a telescoping handle. Learn more about Fortis nets at clamoutdoors.com. It's time to save big during the Yamaha Let's Ride sales event with as low as 2.99% APR for 36 months. Plus, amazing customer cash offers. So see your local Yamaha dealer today for huge savings. Then, let's ride. Welcome back, folks. Uh, smallmouth bass fishing up in Sturgeon Bay with my buddy Dale Strohshine. A couple of baits that are real effective this time of the year are like the swim deal that, that Canlins make, this tickle tail deal, and you just kind of reel that steady, right? Yeah, any of those swim baits, John, normally a nice, slow, steady retrieve is, is the way to go. Um, you can put some pauses in there and let it stop or try dragging them along the bottom. The thing to always remember is, when you're not catching fish, move, and if you're not catching fish, change up what you're doing. Yeah. The other thing to remember, too, is when uh, this time of the year, too, John, is, is uh, on the calm days, work a little deeper, and what I mean by deeper is probably that 18 to 25 foot range. Okay. On the rougher days, typically that's when you're going to want to move up into that 5 to maybe 15 foot range. Hey, look at this. Our buddy is going to start out the day, old Jaker. What's that on, Jake? Uh, I got a mega bass that, mag draft. Oh, look at this. He is a bass fisherman. Oh, it's fisherman. a pike, and he brought oh, that up. That. Hey, oh, my god! Hey, there we go. Hey, 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 look at the size of that northern pike there, Jake. <laughs> and now right, I even asked. 
asked. I'm yeah, like, oh, I know. Do we get any pike? And I'm like, yeah, so if you got a special bait, don't put it on. Boy, that is a nice fish. And Dale, I'll tell you what, that's uh, something underappreciated here in Door County, Jake. Dale actually got one that was pushing 20 pounds this year. Oh, wow, yeah. that's a nice Yeah, bike. so a if you nice get a bike. chance, buddy, if you can just hold them up for the camera. Oh, I will, I will. You know, bass fishing's your favorite, but you don't mind catching Oh, I beauty. love catching these toothy creatures. Yeah, that's a beauty. But look at the build on that, folks. That's a Door County build right there. Oh, yeah. And that pike fishing, Jake, gets better as the fall goes on, too. Most definitely. Yeah. Hey, Jake, smile. Who do you got to say hi to? I got to say hi to my family. Okay, my dad, well, who's your family? My brother in college, too. My brother okay. in college, too. So. The college guy gets an okay, too. Nice oh, yeah. start to the day. <laughs> hey, way to go there, Blake. Where's Whoa, there that? we go. Where's Small the mouth bass arena. Oh, nice fish, Blake. Oh, oh, come on, come on. There oh, we go. No. no. Way to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, what was, what was that hit like? Oh, just boom. It is an awesome hit. Yeah. Woo. And isn't it nice to have you back in the boat? Oh, I know. Blake, that came long. off. Oh, I know. You saved the day, Dale. Oh, let Here. me hold it. Yeah. Uh, hey, Dale, here we are, you know, I think it's like the 22nd of September. This fishing's going to stay good for another six weeks, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. John, we're, I, and I, my wife doesn't know, but I'm going to run into November this year, and I, I'm really going to look for those giant, giant, big smallies to school up late fall when it gets cold. I'm coming back with you. I'm and, coming uh, and, back. and just for the viewer, just so they know, a good indication of one we're going to get on that fall bite is when you start seeing the browns jumping and the chinook coming into the marinas. That's once, that's where that water temperature is going to need to be, where those bass will start schooling up. Nice job, Blake. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for saving it. Yeah, that was... <laughs> oh my, did that hit, Dale. Right, this one John. has got some weight to it too, folks. Look at that rod bending, man. This is a nice fish, Dale. Oh, yeah, this is a nice fish, buddy. Oh, and this is on one of my favorite baits. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, Holy moly. Yeah. That's right? a big fish. I, well, I could see the determination all of a sudden okay. in your face. Okay. Now keep him out of the engine. He's yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful bass. That's a good one. Holy cow, Dale. Nice job. That is beautiful. I will tell you something right now. This has become one of my favorite bass baits, and I'll show it to you here in a sec. Man, Dale, this is really one of my favorite smallmouth baits. This is that Google Eye swim jig yeah. and a tickle tail grub or a tickle tail paddle tail. And you just cast that out, folks, and reel that steady. They just love that bait. Again, that is that Google Eye swim jig and that tickle tail, and uh, just swim that slowly. This is pushing four pounds. Folks. Oh, yeah, that's a, that that's is a, that's a, that's a just, chunker. That's, that, that's a beast. That's what we came here for. Yeah, that is. So, hey, Jake, what do you think, man? I think that's a nice fish. I do, too. That's a good fish. I'll tell you that Jake is so quiet back there. He goes, fish, <laughs> and he's got another yeah. one on there, you know? Right. Dude, high school guys should be more excited, like, fish, <laughs> you know? Hey, Jake. OK, oh. nice one, Jake. Yeah, it feels better. Feels All right, buddy. Feels All right, buddy. And, oh yeah. And, oh, there's a nice Jake Arama. Dude, that's a nice hey, one. Hey, Jake, that's a beautiful that's fish a there, pal. That's a big fish. Turn around and hold them oh, up. Wow. That's gorgeous. <laughs> now, is that your biggest smallmouth? Yeah, that is. That beats my, okay. that beats hey, my smallmouth. I want to mention Jake and, and Sean, who are with us. Sean is in another boat. But you guys bid on this trip, and it was given by Baitmate to, what was the name of the church there? St. Gabriel's. St. Gabriel's. Gabriel's. So you guys, this is a charity deal for you guys, and he's going to dig give you a weight, which is 314. Four two. Four, four two. two. Jake Arama. <laughs> four two. Don't you got to say hello to your girlfriend there, Jake? Yes, I mean, kind of no. But well, nice okay. job, bro. Well, you'll have a girlfriend after nice that, job. Yes. buddy. <laughs> All right, thank you. Dale, Dale, what do you got, buddy? Got what do you got, man? Big fish on, John. Big one? Yeah, big this one? is a really big fish. All right, buddy. Oh, my Ooh. God. Somebody help me with these rods up here. Look out, look out, Larry. This, we got to get this fish. We got to get this fish. OK, Dale. OK, buddy. All right, man. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. You gotta, you're going to have to reach out. Oh, that is a giant. Look at the size of that smallmouth. 
Now that has broken the deal. That is a Slobosaurus, Dale. And I'll tell you what, when you are so intense, buddy, you are constantly thinking and moving around real slowly using that's, spot lock. That's a big fish. Look, what are you, that's pushing five, Dale. Oh, yeah. That's a five pounder right well, there, buddy. Let's, let's bump him, John. We'll yeah, just... I mean, that is just incredible. I don't know if he's Scale. five, but he's, that's, that's a big fish. Yeah, that and is. And as something. quiet as it's gotten on us, I'm very concerned because we've lost all of our wind, John, which typically in most regards is not good. Look at that bass. So four, five, one, five, five pounds. Five pounds, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> and you know, I always tell folks, you know, Sand Bay Beach Resort is uh, Door County's fishing headquarters, and that that's not an uncommon fish, is it? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to be that guy, John, but right. this, this is a great fishery. Can you get five pounders? Absolutely, but please understand that it takes a lot. They still consider this a once in a lifetime, yeah. whether you're here or anywhere else where there's great fisheries. Hey, you gotta move those rods up yep, there. Yep, yep. Move those rods right, up got there. It, got it, oh, John. this is a big one. I don't I want them to jump. It's a big one. I don't want them to jump. I don't want them to jump. Here you go. Oh my gosh, this is a big fish, Dale. Oh, oh stay with him. Stay with him. Oh, oh golly. Oh. oh, Dale. Oh, Dale on the wacko worm. Oh. All right. Dude, that's a, that's that's a, a nice one. Yeah. Uh, you know here. what? I didn't feel the hit. And uh, I gotta show you what I got him on. That's that Kalen's weedless jig. Yeah. And I'm and that he's he he dumped my wacko worm, but uh, look at that, guys. It, and that's a nice combo, that little jig, huh? Yeah. Dale? Here, I'm gonna yeah. let you hold them. Wow. All right. That's another just tank of swords. Look at that, folks. <laughs> look at that. That was on the Kalen's Wacko and the Kalen's Wacko Weedless Jig. Dale, this is just incredible, buddy. Hey, Jake. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Have you ever you. seen this many big bass Here, John, in five minutes? No. Give me a little room. I, I'm going to. All right, got him. Okay. I would say four pounds, eight ounces. Yeah, he's not hooked real well, but I'm. Well, maybe he's bigger than that. Oh, wait on. We got a fault, faulty reading. Okay. We're gonna see here, folks. There we go. Okay, we I'd say 412. Yeah, you're pretty close. 49. 49? Yeah, so that's that's enough. I'll tell you what though. Just to put it in perspective, all right? That is a trophy in most people's lifetimes. Including mine. You know, so you know, we get a little whacked out with Facebook and all these numbers and stuff. Just remember, like a three pounder is still like a giant. Yeah, we'll hold him up one yeah, more that, time for the What a great home. fish. I mean, what a platter. We were fishing Door County out of Sand Bay Beach Resort. A two and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, three and a half hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. The Kalen's Google Eye Jig features a built-in glass rattle that creates a deadly combination of sight and sound. Its shockwave rattle system has been designed to call fish in. The lifelike rattle reflects the light and adds a dimension like no other. Available in two styles and 13 colors. It's hard to put our adventures on hold, but now is the perfect time to prepare for their return. Amsoil has your back with fast, free shipping, and ordering has never been easier. Just look up your vehicle, select your product, add an oil change to your cart, and check out. Spend $100 on Amsoil products, and shipping is on us. Order now at Amsoil.com. I'll tell you what, folks, when it gets hot like this, about 88 degrees and, and not much of a breeze, and you've been out in the boat all day, there is one thing that you can do if you're smart and you have one in your boat, and it's called a Johnson Pump Washdown Kit. It not only can clean your boat, but it can also cool down your guests. Watch. Do it again. There you go. Get that cub sign and keep going. There you go. Hey. Well, there now, we go. That is refreshing, though, isn't it? That feels good. And that really is great for cleaning your boat. We use live bait in here, you know, a lot. Yeah. And uh, you get crawler stuff all around. It just gets it off like crazy. But now that is good for taking a shower in the boat, too. It is, apparently. Oh, oh what do you got? Blake's got a big one now. Blake's got a big one now. Blake's got a big one. Oh, this is another nice fish. Another look at that, pep, folks. And look at how clear that water is. Blake, Blake. Oh, I know it's.
It's a big one, Blake. Okay, yeah. Blake. Ooh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, is, that, man. is that cool or what? And oh, I'm telling you what, he's barely thing. hooked. That's the problem is, you know, it's gotten so common as John that they're just wow. barely hitting these yeah. things. But they're hitting them I mean, and they're big. I felt a little nibble before. Like Here, take a look at how lightly oh he's God. just, oh. I mean, he's just hooked by the skinny oh. skin skin my there. Gosh. What happened, Blake? I felt a little like, oh, fish, fish, fish. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're gonna need that net. We're gonna need that net. Is this big, Jake? I feels big. Is it big, Jake? Feels good. All right, buddy. All right, Feeling buddy. some head shakes, might be a pike. Keeper, what's that on? I make draft. Oh, that is another that's big another one. Dude, that's another gorgeous fish. fish. Oh, Jake oh. Yeah, yeah, dude. Hey, give me a poundo, another buddy. Give one. me oh. a poundo. There we hey, go. Hey, is that cool to catch two, two big smallies? That's a, awesome. I, I mean, have you ever experienced fishing like this in your no, life, I Jake? No, This is insane. This is a lot of fun. And you're dumping a little bait mate on that, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to get a shot of both of these. Jake, no, seriously, this is a special deal. This is a special deal, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Here you go, man. OK, get let's get him. these together. Let me get on anchor. Let me get on anchor. I want the spot. Get okay. back in there, Blake. OK, wow. guys. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> all right, first of all, Blake, your comments? Wow, talk about a double whammy right there. That was unreal. This is one of my favorite places to fish by far. Your thoughts, Jake? It's crazy <laughs> that you can double up with this big of smallmouth here. Yeah. It's crazy. To yeah. Me. And you're going to tell all your friends at German Down High School? <laughs> oh, yeah, I will. Nicely done. This is Good awesome. Good job, Blake, Jake, man. <laughs> Doubled up with yeah. two giants, man. Ooh, Way to my go, heart guys. Is still racing. John, Same. what do you think? Fast. I think, wow, Dale, you know, <laughs> hey, we've been fishing together a long time, buddy. And I'll tell you something, other than muskies, every big fish on my show has come out of the Sturgeon Bay area. And I always thank you for that. But you yeah. never let me down, man. Those are once in a lifetime fish that we catch regularly. Yes, that was awesome. <laughs> I can't even rest. Oh my gosh, look at this toad. Look at this toad. That is a toad, okay, toad, can I, toad. Can I, go, okay, I got him. I got him down. Okay, okay, whoa. Yeah, Ooh, look, is, at this. Is, look, at this. look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my, another slobosaurus. <laughs> Oh, Jake. dude, that's another big fish, yeah. brother. Now, uh, Thank yeah. you. I mean, uh, Jake, really, come on. Are that's you speechless a, or what, I am dude? speechless. I don't know what to say now. I mean, uh, this uh, that's a nice fish, again. I, no, this one's pushing five, too. I mean, they're wow. all giant. Oh, my they? gosh. That's a, oh. You don't oh. catch one under three here. There you go, Jake. And hey, buddy, oh. your theory is big swim baits for a big fish, big right? Big swim baits, big fish, and <laughs> I think that shows right here. No, I mean, seriously, and, and you're using a giant bait compared to us. Yeah, and it's it's pretty big. Yeah, it the is. fish are pretty big too, aren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, so. He's even Sometimes these big fish, they're just yeah. looking for a big snack, so, especially during fall time too. Breaking news from Fleet Farm, Daiwa Millionaire Classic UTD Reel, right or left hand, on sale for $69.99, saving $10. He's huge. Oh my God. Oh, no, oh, no he's huge. Oh, let, let me oh my God. God. He's huge. Oh, look at that toad. Oh my gosh. Dude, this, dude, dude, this that's is a, uh, That's five and a half. Could be six pounds. Dude, now come on, man. That's huge. Oh my God. Gosh, well, hey, well, you got to tell your feelings, man. I, I, I can't. I mean, that fish is huge. I saw him eat it. It happened in slow motion. You saw him eat it? I saw him eat it. It was not far out. That was, Dude, oh, my God. Got a yeah. giant you got, fish. you got, that's, that, that's, that's a big fish. That, that wow. is an absolute, if you wanted to mount a fish, that is the deal right there. That is, oh, my God. And, and you saw him eat it. I you, saw him eat it. It happened in slow motion. Oh, it was insane. Cool. Look five, at that. Five, five two. pounds, two ounces. Hand them back to there. Jake the master. Five, hey, two, Jake. brother. You just got a Jake. once in a lifetime. Now, you were knocking That's, on five before. Now, the now you just put, you put five behind you. Look at there that. There you go. Five pounds, what? Two ounces? <laughs> yeah. Five pounds, two ounces. What do you think, Jake? I uh, don't know on, what to Jake. think. Come it's on, crazy. Jake. <laughs> I never thought that I would be able to catch five pound, two ounce smallmouth bass, but. Dreams do come true. That yeah. they do, and look at that. It's in my hands. That's crazy. Congratulations, yeah. brother. Thank you so much.
Hey folks, meet Jake's uncle. This is Sean, and you guys bid on this trip and won it from where? We got it from St. Gabriel Auction, John, out there in Colgate. And that was a big gift from Wisconsin Farmer Cal that make bait made and, and Coleman insect repellent. And I got a treat for you today, buddy. I'll tell you what, I made some Johnsonville Italians for you today, and these are so easy to cook. Throw them on the grill, slow cook them for about, oh, 20 minutes, and they are delish. All right, take a bite. Wow. We just love these Johnsonville Italians in our house. And you know, I got another treat for you. These are Johnsonville sausage strips. These are awesome. They come in four different flavors, and they're good for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I want you to try these. I'm giving you these. Uh, and excellent. look, here's some recipes. It's time for our Ask the Guide question, and uh, this one is from Marty Papke. Marty wants to know, what was your best day on the water? March 21st, 1995, a Tuesday night, pouring rain. I'm sitting on the ice, and I caught the world record walleye for ice fishing, and I, it's something I will never forget. If I was to main just one more, it was the day that I got a call. Uh, from the Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame that I was inducted to the Hall of Fame. So as a freshwater uh, angler, legendary angler. Marty, thank you. Uh, wish all of you a great day. Hey, thanks, Marty Papke, for choosing your question. You will receive two coupons for fresh Johnsonville brats. The Kalen's Google Eye Swinghead features a wide base with a built-in glass rattle that puts off a lot of vibration and noise under the water. And the wide base allows it to not get snagged as much along the bottom. Check this out in three sizes and three colors. The first thing that we're gonna do today is attack panfish in the basin of the lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. This is not too early to come out and catch walleyes, huh? It's never too early. This middle of May stuff for walleyes, it's cool. It's a night and day difference putting the bait mate on. This is ranked as one of the top smallmouth destinations in the world. And that bait mate does work, doesn't it? It does. Catch more fish all year long with Baitmate Fish Attractive. Check it out at baitmate.com. Dish. The star of the show is back. The star of the show is feels back. Nice. It feels nice. Is this Bigger. another big fish? Feels nice. Feels How really nice. How can it not be? They're all big. They're all big. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's a giant pike a -rooty. It's whoa! Hey. All right. That thing, Where's my that, bait? Yeah, that's going to be a tough Dude, one. Dude, I'm going to watch mean, you come have on, that. man. Hey, do you think we should have him with us every week? <laughs> yeah. No kidding, man. This is a nice pike. Well, no kidding there. <laughs> I told you to catch a 20 pounder. That's yeah. only about a 12, 13 pounder. Well, where's my 20 pounder? I, it's still to come, it's still to come. No, still... I mean, we've only been fishing a couple hours. Yeah. You know that? And that's what you should tell the folks how fast this fishing is, right? Yeah, this this is fast fishing. It's fun. Hey, Dale, back in the boat, buddy. Back right. in the boat, man. I'm, I'm coming, John. Feels big, feels big, I feels got... big. Oh, my. Whoa, yeah, that does. Oh, look at him go, Dale. Dale! Well, this could be another oh, northern or something. Oh, this is a big something. fish, man. Whatever it is, it's big. Oh, my gosh. Fish! Oh, oh, oh Dale, Blake's doubled, Blake's take doubled up. Take and drag, Dale. Right. Take and drag, buddy. All right, Blake's doubled up. Okay, well, what are we going to do here, well, Dale? Oh, you lose it? Blake lost hers, but this thing is big, Dale. Big, Dale. Look at this thing, Dale. Dale, 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 Dale. Yes, Dale Stroshine. <laughs> Look at the size of that northern pike, buddy. Oh, holy cow. That is just amazing. That is a giant. Hey, Jake, what do you think, buddy? I think that's a very nice Well, get pike. back in here with me, man. That's a 16, 17 pound fish, isn't it, Dale? Oh, it's big fish, Jack. Yeah, that is, that's my biggest pike of the year, Jake. I love that. That's a good job. Uh, and, you know, throwing these, you know, all the different types of baits you're doing, you don't know what you're going to catch, but that really is gorgeous. What do you think, Dale? What? About 18 pounds, 16 pounds? Yeah, it's heavy. I mean, he's, he's, he's good size. Yeah. I, I'm not a good judge on pike, you know. What a day. What a day. Huh, Jake? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm proud. 
It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2020 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Chris Fryer of Plymouth, Minnesota caught this 19-inch white bass on the Mississippi using a Kalen scrub. Tim Eckert of Greenleaf, Wisconsin caught this 33 and a quarter inch walleye in Green Bay using a crankbait. Dallas Buck of Bay City, Wisconsin caught this 43 inch northern on Lake Pepin using a suet. Joe Seffert of Menasha, Wisconsin caught this 38 inch rainbow trout on Lake Michigan using a spoon. And this week's first kid winners, Luke Geller of Milwaukee, Wisconsin caught this 39 inch king salmon on Lake Michigan using a plug. And Patrick Borchekmeyer of Hobart, Indiana caught this 22 and a half inch largemouth bass on Wolf Lake using a crankbait. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. Check out what I found this week. 20% off Muskie Innovations lures on sale from $15.29 to $23.79. And save $40 on the Frog Togs Amphib Neoprene Waders on sale for $99.99. Ooh, Dale, 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 Dale. Ooh, okay, this okay, is a okay. big fish, buddy. This right. is a big fish, man. Oh, there yeah. he is, Dale. There he is, Dale. Dale, don't miss him. Got him. Oh, my gosh. Is that? Is over. Fine, hey, John. I got a five-pounder here, folks. Oh. I got a five-pounder. And oh, I'm short of breath. Yeah. You know what I did? I went back to the wacko and that Kalen's uh, wacko jig. Five pounds? Five ten. ten. Oh my God, five pounds, <laughs> ten ounces. And, and I'll tell you something, that color, hey. that color wacko worm with that Kalen's jig is awesome. Five ten, brother. Hey, that is. Three, three for sure that we scaled today over five. Yeah. And I, there might have been another one that you had earlier that we never put on the scale, but man, what a solid day. Oh, what a big fish. <laughs> that is a Slavosaurus <laughs> mastodon smallmouth bass. Yes, right there. Five ten. Yeah, there we're, it we're is. talking a few ticks from six. Yeah, a few <laughs> ticks from six pounds. Wow. The skies Dale Strojan guides all of Green Bay on a daily basis. For more information, give Dale a call. That phone number is 920-743-5731. The waters in the woods, John Oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get it set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. From cutting back to cleaning up, Fleet Farm has everything you need to get your yard ready for fall. Whether you're giving the lawn one last feed, showing that wood pile who's boss, or powering through the leaves, there's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, I don't need it. Because we have it all. Fleet Farm, you won't believe what you'll find. What an incredible day of fishing, huh? Actually amazing. It was <laughs> unreal. And I want to mention again, what a great time, folks, to come up and visit Sand Bay Beach Resort. The colors are gorgeous in October. And Dale's wife, Karen, said that they have plenty of rooms available during the week. If you want one on a weekend, call right now. And it's a short drive from Chicago and Milwaukee. Yeah, it's one of my favorite places to visit and have a little vacation. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know. We're going to fish it. We will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. And I'm Blake Gillespie. Hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie!